so I'm back. It's 1.28 p.m. This is a um more like an update to the previous video that I just did. So, you know, I'm not even trying to put anyone down, bash them, or what y'all want to say, throw them under the bus. I'm just documenting what, what I've been going through and my emotions and how I feel. You know, having no one really to talk to. So, you know, my documenting my targeting, narcissistic abuse and the trauma and everything, releasing my emotions rather than stuffing everything in, you know, that helps to um, calm me down from my whatever outbursts, meltdowns, or lashing out when you, when you target it and don't really have anyone to talk to. So an update is that um I noticed that the TI sanctuary guy he on YouTube he pressed the heart button and hearted the fake post from the state, I mean, the fake, um, Stefan Adams gang stalker. That's one of the traffickers. He hearted and liked Stefan Adams, um, fake comment using clapping emojis to celebrate. And it's like, if you're Christian and targeted, what are you doing? And it's, it's like, as long as you can agree with, I mean, as long as you can get somebody to agree with what you think, you don't care. You don't even question whether or not these are the vigilante, so-called monitoring spirits, vigilante perps. They have regular perp perp gang stalkers who lie and say that they donate, play, psychologically play all kinds of games and say that they donated when they never did. You falsely accuse me of being fake, and um, you par you follow my twin sister like a whole cult, like a whole cult following flying monkey, and you parrot her lies, sm slander, smear campaigns, false rumors, and then you re repeat them back to me and go and spread that slander without verifying and doing full research to see what's true. Now, if you've been following my videos for two or three years, and I and my videos have been the same content, they've been consistent. Um, and all of a sudden you just have a change of heart. Either you're already a perp. If you see my evidence, you're already a perp, or you're a fake TI perp that got compromised or paid off. So, how am I supposed to be suspected, I mean, I'm sorry, be expected to survive? When I have to be on the streets tomorrow, can you imagine somebody that's homeless on the streets, disabled, a black single female with no family support, really no friends, and if I got to be by the lakefront with all that wind and water, with no support and no shelter overhead and I'm supposed to just and no little to no money and I'm supposed to just let all this rain fall on me or I'm so and, and, and if any place if I try to go and um stand underneath a building or something and then I get trespassed and um wrongfully banned or trespassed or or they make jail threats <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have in my one of my, like if you look on my YouTube profile, one of the first videos you see is um one of the um perps following me very closely, right up on me with one headlight. 
and I try to show people in the TI community and they ignore me and dismiss me trying to show them or they yell at me and tell me ignore the perps but y'all say ignore the perps but then you lie and say that I'm a fake TI that's pretending for pity and money and you parroting and then you start to bully and um you start to get all sadistic and bully and harass or you stay away and ignore and avoid me like the plague and terror and, and you know, tell everybody else, don't support her. Stay away from her. You're doing exactly what the gang stalkers do. And, and it's like, you're supposed to be Christian. And, um, like, where's your grace and mercy? And I haven't even disrespected you. I never argued with you. I, I never got, I mean, I never um had a misunderstanding with you or anything like that. But the T.I. Sanctuary person, at first... I mean, he has told me more than once that he saw that he knows I'm a real T.I. Or that he sees my evidence of being stopped. But he's one of the people who just talk about the program in general. I have not seen any videos of himself being personally followed. He never shows his face. When you're using projection falsely accusing me of being a narcissist with pity... But I think that you're using that T.I. sanctuary thing for, as the communal narcissist for narcissistic supply. So when the vulnerable come to, for help or whatever, you oppress and exploit them. Or, or reject them. So who's the fake T.I. here when you never showed your face? You're a man. What do you have to fear? Show your face. If you are a man and you don't have, I, I haven't seen any um videos of you being harassed. But you never show your face and you may just tell whatever so-called stories about yourself being gang stalked. But when I show footage of myself being harassed, People will tell me, yell at me and tell me to ignore. When I point out the tactics, you call me, people call me childish and petty. Or tell me don't focus on that. When I became homeless or jobless or lost whatever job from the gang stalkers, the narcissistic control freak fake TI perps, they kick me down even harder and victim blame. And when I'm dealing with the workplace mobbing and lose the job, and then you say, well, you should. If you if you would have ignored them, you wouldn't be in such a such predicament. But sometimes they will just flat out fire you for no reason or straight up tell lies to cause you to um end up like getting evicted from your home or, or whatever. I haven't never gotten evicted, but I documented every day about what happened in that apartment, and y'all still have another fake narrative about me. So they're blocking me from employment. Where they're blocking me from anything entrepreneurial. I'm an author. I write. So, um, T.I. Sanctuary, I see you. You're the narcissist. And you're teaming up with the traffickers and the perps to gang up on me and bully me. They had to beat you into submission. And it's obvious that, you know, if they got you, then you're the coward. You know, they're still harassing me, and I still never sold out. The fake T.I. perps that, are, that got money and won't help the T.I. suffering, they lie and say that we're paid, and paid to make the T.I. community look crazy, and that we're the fake ones. How much sense does it make if... You're home, if you're homeless and somebody's falsely accusing you of being paid. Well, if I was paid, I wouldn't need to beg a panhandle, right? I don't know where y'all get y'all fake reasoning from. So, yes, I need help, you know, with more funds for a hotel or whatever. They're blocking me from the shelters and everything. I don't have a car or a house, no family, nobody I could go by. So I need help, my hotel room or whatever. 